Today columns um, aren't a built-in feature of SharePoint, but they're pretty handy for calculating things like uh, days of service or days since incident um, or even people's ages. Uh, so to get started, uh, we're going to go to a list here. This is just a list of tweets. And I'm going to add a new column of the date type here. And I'm just going to call it today. All right. So that's the easy part. And then we come in here to SharePoint Designer, uh, which you can get for free if you don't already have it. Go to Workflows. And to add a new one, uh, what we're going to do is list workflow and then the name of the list that you're working on right now. And I'm going to call it today column. And it's pretty simple. We're just going to say update list item and then update item in this list. Add that new field that we just did, so today. And we're going to set it to the current date. Now just say pause, because we want it to wait uh, a certain period of time before it updates again. I'm going to say 12 hours, because I don't have anything really urgent, and people aren't going to be checking this at 1 in the morning if it's not updated. Uh, so 12 hours is good enough for me. Uh, but you could do one hour, maybe. And then go to uh, stage 1 instead of end of workflow. So what it's going to do, basically, then is update today's date, and then pause for 12 hours, and then it's going to start over update today's day, and then pause. And you could put in log steps, too, if you wanted if you want to say something like log um, workflow initiating, and then at the end, log pause. You could put in the middle, log updated, uh, just in case you want to troubleshoot the workflow if it's not working for some reason. Uh, and then let's set it so that it starts whenever something is changed or created. Just keep in mind that if you don't uh, delete the item, like if you're not replacing the list regularly, once this workflow starts, uh, it's not going to start a new one when you change an item. It's only going to be on the schedule you set, which for me is 12 hours. So we're going to publish that. And then while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and create another column here. But it's going to be a calculated column uh, just to, te to test our uh, new today column. Okay, we're going to create a calculated column, call it days since creation. Uh, calculated type, the formula for that is today, and then minus created. We'll do number type, and we'll return with one decimal place. Okay, so we've got our calculation going on already, and because that's zero, nothing's happening. Uh, this today column is just added by our workflow. We can take that out. Uh, most likely, you don't want to see the today column or the workflow column that's related to. Uh, so I'm just going to edit the view here. We'll take out just the workflow column. I want to leave the today just to show you this. But you probably want to take that out uh, when you're finished. And then to test it, I just need to trigger it. So we're going to change some items. And instead of today, which is November 1st, I'm going to set it to October 1st, just to make sure that it's working. Let's go ahead and do that for a few of these. Okay, and that one already updated. We can see it's been one and a half days since that tweet. And let's go ahead and refresh, and we'll see the rest. All right, so it updated to today, 2.7 days, 3.1 days. Uh, so that can be pretty handy, and you could make the calculation a little bit more um, advanced and add words here. So it could say one and a half days, um, or you could change it to hours if you wanted, uh, just by dividing by 24. Uh, so if you have any problems, feel free to comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching.